Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you how you can get honey fast in Bee Swarm Simulator. Let's get straight into it. Number five, amulets. A great way to get honey faster is by getting amulets. You can get an amulet by playing this right here, the ant challenge. I have a diamond ant amulet. As you can see, you can get an extra percentage of white, blue, and red pollen, which helps a ton, especially in like mountaintop and better fields like that. And there's other ones as well, like the stick bug amulet, where you get extra honey from tokens as well. And some can give you extra pollen from fields. Like the King Beetle amulet I have right now gives me an extra 64% for blue flower field pollen and clover field pollen as well. That's why I put amulets as number five on my list. Number four, gifted bees. I put number four as gifted bees because, I mean, look at this, just go into the basic bee and if you make it gifted, it gives you an extra 1.2 times pollen on everything. That's like an extra 20%. So, from what I had now, if I had a gifted basic bee, I would have about 60 million extra honey. Doesn't that sound crazy? And that's just from the basic bee being gifted. Other bees, like this exhausted bee, gives 25% buzz bomb pollen and pollen from different things, like from bombs or from tokens and other stuff. That's why I put gifted bees as number four. Number three, gumdrops and tokens. The reason why I put gumdrops and tokens in the number three spot is because, I mean, look at this. The baby love potion gives it double pollen for 30 seconds. And also, white, red, and blue boost pollen tokens give a stackable amount of, I think, an extra 10% every token. And also... Gumdrops, I mean, look at this. My honey per second was 6,000, but look at it skyrocket all the way to 10,000, 11,000 per second. That's basically double. What? 20,000. That's why I put gumdrops and tokens as number three on my list. Number two, boosters. I put boosters as number two on my list because they can give you a great amount of extra pollen from certain fields. There's a random field booster up in the 25B area. Let me just see. And I got double pollen for clover field. So if I go in Cloverfield, I'd get two times the amount of pollen that I would regularly get for 15 minutes. There's another booster in the blue HQ over here. Let's just use it. And I got an extra 100% bamboo field pollen. So if I come here, I'd get double the amount of pollen from this field than other fields. Oh, looks like I got 200% extra pollen for clover, so that means I get three times the amount. And there's also another booster in the red HQ right there. So right in here, there's another booster, and that just gave me an extra 100% pollen from Rosefield. 
So all these fields, I'll get double the amount of pollen that I would usually get from them. Just from using the field boosters, which you can use every hour. That's why I put boosters as number two. Number one, accessories. I put accessories as number one because just just look at this. Right here, the belt that I'm using right now gives you an extra 150,000 capacity, 25% extra capacity, 75 conversion amount, an extra 20% buzz bomb pollen, and an extra 50% honey from tokens. And there's also other accessories, like this, the honey mask. It gives you an extra 25% pollen. And different accessories also give you instant conversion. So, my instant conversion rate is 9% for white pollen, 6% for red, and 6% for blue. So, 9% of the white pollen that I get will instantly be converted into honey. So if I go into the spider field, you can see my honey just going up and up and up. And that is why I put accessories as number one. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.